Hello everyone, my name is Majulu Adishna. I am 14 years old. I am an author, a digital artist, a spoken word artist, and a programmer. Hello everyone, my name is Kamsi Chima and I'm 13 years old. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for the opportunity to be speaking here today. Circumstances come no matter what you do, and there are many ways to solve them. Breaking out of normalcy is studying great people, acting like them, and thinking like them. Breaking out of normalcy is also doing what you love doing and doing excellently well at it. So, it's all about the fact that adults in my life have given me that push and showed me that I can be great, that I can be better than just average. They gave me the push and they gave me the motivation, the inspiration to take it up from there. They helped me to become more independent. So, I was able so I was able to give myself to learn to give myself that push to and know that I can be greater than just what average is I can be greater than I can be better than what society expects me to be so that's how I was able to break out of normal normalcy and challenge the status quo so Challenging the status quo has a lot of benefits, but one of them is it innovates and drives progress because the more you fail, the more success approaches. Challenging my status quo has affected me positively. For example, in creating a game, you have a problem with a particular code and you fix it. If we as young people don't begin to challenge the status quo now, don't begin to try and break out of normalcy then we never will and that won't and if we don't we'll never be more than average and we'll never be more than what society expects us to be and if we are nothing more than what society expects us to be then we'll just be another one in the crowd and we'll never be able to do something exceptional or do something impactful in our world society has a way of just making us laid back and making us mediocre mediocres and we and that's why we need to break out of normalcy challenging the status quo is not an easy task but with a lot of rest and relaxing the brain helps the brain understand the problem and find a way to fix that problem I think that the reason I'm able to start challenging the status quo already and I'm able to maintain it is because I is because I've been taught habits from a young age and those habits are things that are sticking with me till this day, which is why I'm able to do well and become more than average. Habits like habits like being able to get up and go being able to know what I have to do and start do and start doing it, things executive functioning skills like time management that I'm still working on upon others. These habits ha are things that have become a part of me. And even though for some of them, like time management, I haven't fully mastered yet, I'm still working hard at it. And because I know it has influenced, it has influenced some of my decisions to some extent. I've never encountered any bias that has hampered my transformation process. Some of the biases that I faced through in my journey is people telling me that I'm doing too much. At times for people, for my peers who know about what I do, some of them give me accolade, but some of them in the past have put me down about it because I, it has caused me sometimes to just not go and do some of the things that they would, that they would do. But I, but because I know better and I know what I have to do, I've been able to like, I've been able to view it from the point of view that it's not worth it. Why would I dis Why would I mess myself up because of something like this? Something that I can have later.
There's a lot in my heart. But one thing I know, I will always be the best fashion of who God wants me to be. That's that's the thing about me. I don't exactly know. I'm, I don't, I haven't put my finger on exactly what I want to be. But I know what, I know who I want to be. I know I want to be a person who is impactful. I know that I want, I know that I want to start businesses i know that i want to be impactful i know that i want to create and i know that i want to do something around it because that's my forte so although i can't exactly say that i want to be a doctor or i want to be this or i want to be that i know in my heart what i want to be and i'm working towards being what i want to be every day Some of these mentioned problems have not affected my life in any which way, but going through tough situations is an opportunity to reflect on how your life is now and start what needs to be started. We've been plunged into really terrible times in this, in this, con in this society, but what it has done to me really is that it's told me that someone needs to fix it. And my mom always tells me that if something has to be done that i should say to myself that it might have it might as well be me so that's part of the reason that i'm working so hard because i know that it, because i believe in my heart that if i'm not trying to change this country then no one else will so to speak or it's more like i need to work hard to change this country for the better just just because so that's what that's another reason why i'm always working so hard because I know that I need that I need to reshape this country and the entire world. I need I've made it my responsibility to do that. Leadership to me is taking risk and challenging situations that come our way and the way of our team. I have many leaders, but one thing I've learned from each one of them is have a clear purpose and be consistent about it. So leadership to me is, is being willing to put yourself down to some extent so that you raise people up. It's being willing to go down to serve others. It's being that light shining in the darkness. It's being an example to others. So some of the leaders in my life that have inspired me, the first ones are my parents because of how hardworking they constantly are. They model a life of hard work and self control and self control to me, as well as discipline and time management. And I and from there I'm learning from them, and I want to be like them every day. Another leader that has other leaders that have inspired me are my mentors, my spiritual my spiritual coach, um, my sex education coach. <clears throat> upon my uh, and my other and my many other coaches they all model lives of hard work and impact to me and that's how i'm able to work so hard and that's a one of the reasons i'm able to work so hard and another leader who has inspired me a lot is elon musk the richest man in the world the thought of a person who is just using his intellect rather than physical force and is making a lot of money from it it's just so inspiring i want to be like him when i grow up and i want to and i just i want to be a lot like him juggling your personal life hobbies and status is one thing every great person encounters i think it's ultimately just my ability to control to control myself and my ability to manage my time because i've learned a lot i've learned from my parents that being able to juggle different tasks is be is having time man is having time management and not just not having enough tasks to do so i can't i i'll be lying if i said that i've fully mastered time management i'm still a work in progress and we all we all are but I know that I'm working hard and, I'll, and there will come a day that I'll be able to manage my time and fully juggle all of 
the things that I had to do. But for now, I'm still just work. I'm still working on it and I'm still, I'm able to, but I'm still working on becoming even better at, in this area of my life. My advice to my 25-year-old self would be, do not limit yourself. Try new things and just breathe. Everything will come around eventually. My advice to a 25-year-old version of myself would be that I should never lose sight of where I'm going to, of where I'm going to. I should remember at all times where I started and what has brought and what has brought me so far, as well as what, how far I need to go. And that's what is propelling me every day. That is one of my personal taglines. I keep, if as long as I keep on working hard, knowing what has brought me so far and how I can keep working hard, how I can keep growing in that area, I'm able to, I'm able to work harder and harder in everything that I'm doing. So never lose sight of where you started at, where you, what brought you so far and where you can still go. My last words to everyone watching is, if you want to be or achieve something, get started. You've got what it takes and it will all be worth it in the end. And my last words to everyone watching is that to keep working hard in everything that you're doing in this life. I'll give you the same advice I'm giving to my future self. Never lose sight on where you started, where you can go and where and what has brought you so far. Never, you shouldn't let society get the better of you. You can't let society, society's expectations be your expectations for yourself. Don't let procrastination get the better of you because procrastination is evil. Procrastination is evil. Know how to manage your time properly so that you're able, so that you're able to juggle many different tasks so that you can keep living an intentional life. Thank you everyone for listening to me. Thank you. Bye.